Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Morning Mindset. My name is Michelle Dale, coming to you from Virtual Coworking Space, and today's Morning Mindset follows on our theme from In The News. Um, the news was actually pretty heavy this morning, and I don't really want to cover heavy stuff because, you know, like I want to keep the mornings a little bit upbeat for you. I don't want to leave you feeling depressed. Um, but there was one story which did stand out for me today, which is very much a demonstration of how powerful mindset really is. And this is a story about how the yachting industry, super big yachts. Now, I, I live in a place called El Guna in Egypt, and it's super nice. Um, and we have several marinas here. One is about five minutes walk from my home and not even that, two minutes. And they have some very impressive, beautiful yachts. We're talking like luxury uh, liners, you know, like amazing interiors. You can sleep on them, you know, like it, they're just amazing. You look at them and you just feel abundant just staring at these things. Um, so I decided that I was gonna pull on the yacht story today. Now the yacht story, the yachting industry um, apparently is set to go into 54 billion, okay, this year in 2024, which is amazing. And the first thing that came into my head was what an incredible distribution of wealth if yachts, we're talking lumps of metal here, that's essentially what it is, it's a, it's a lump of metal that looks really pretty and is very, very nice to, to go on, you know, like, there is so much wealth to go around the universe that if we're sitting there in a lack mindset, where a lack of distribution of that wealth, of that, you know, just in the yachting industry alone, 54 billion, like, how do we shift out of that? And it was very interesting, because as soon as I thought that, like, who has who has these yachts, you know? Then it came up about who has them. So apparently, 50% of yacht owners tend to be from the United States. And obviously in the United States, it's a developed country, so I'm sure that there is a lot of poverty in the United States, but there is also a lot of affluence and a lot of wealth. So technically in the United States, you can say that maybe people in America are more exposed to wealth than let's say Africa. And the other thing that really stuck out to me was the people buying these yachts. So the people who are using their $54 billion to buy these yachts are a majority, not all, but a majority self made business entrepreneurs. And that to me was super interesting because nobody out of those self-made, and they, they emphasize self-made, which was I thought interesting, self-made business entrepreneurs, none of those business entrepreneurs essentially came out of the womb with enough money to buy a yacht. So they must have really worked on their mindset, their belief system, their goals, their vision. I imagine that if you went and interviewed these people who were buying these yachts, they imagined themselves on the yacht first before they just woke up one day and said, oh, I'll go and buy a yacht today. No, they thought about the yacht. They'd probably looked at multiple yachts in catalogues. They may have gone and got onto yachts and stood on yachts and viewed yachts like you would view a home I guess these you don't just simply wake up one day and go to the yacht shop and buy a yacht you consider it you give it thought you look for docks where you can put your yacht or marinas you know like where you can put your yacht you think about the cost of the yacht you think about where it's where you're going to take it to buy a yacht is like a house you have to immerse yourself into it. Now, I have manifested many houses before. In fact, my most easiest ooh, manifestation uh, has been houses because, and I'll tell you why, 
because I can live in that house in my mind before I have purchased the house or taken the lease on the house. So I will view the house, look at the house, go inside the rooms, take a viewing, then I will go away and in a notebook or a jot or whatever, I will plan out my life in that house, my kids' bedrooms, where things are go, gonna go in my kitchen, where I'm gonna put furniture in the house. I can easily immerse myself into that manifestation and it always comes. Like I've always been able to manifest the house and sometimes without even seeing the house first of all, I start seeing the house like, what do I need? I need five bedrooms, I need a big living space because I have a lot of kids and animals and things. You know, I need a big garden, I'd like a swimming pool. So I start to just think, tell myself, what would I really like, you know, in a home? And then the manifestation becomes easy because then houses start coming into my awareness, the right house pops up, I go look at it, I decide I want it, and then I basically live in that house mentally and plan for that house, logically, and then it's mine. Um, and I believe that the yachting industry people who are buying these yachts or the business owners are doing the same thing and that's how they manifest getting their yachts. So my the takeaway from in the news today in this incredible yachting story is that most people aren't born just with a yacht. Some people are, if you're super rich, but most of these people are self-made business entrepreneurs and they've decided for themselves, I want to own a yacht. And they've gone and looked at yachts and they've seen yachts and visualized, they've gone yacht shopping. And that's free by the way. <laughs> you know, anything that you're trying to bring into your awareness or bring into your creation or bring into your life, it's, bringing that in is free. Just because you don't have the money to buy a yacht does not mean to say that you can't walk into the yacht shop and start looking at yachts and start thinking, what yacht do I want? You know, what does my yacht look like? You know, you've got to think about it in the present tense. So if you want to manifest a yacht, now you know what to do. Um, in the meantime now, we are going to get into our morning mindset daily accountability, keep manifesting. Um, I hope you enjoyed the in the news um, theme this week. It was sort of interesting for me to to sort of dissect how people, you know, in the news are, are, are there and what they're doing and how things happened. Um, but I've really enjoyed this uh, section. So we're going to be back here tomorrow for another morning mindset. We're doing our oracle cards tomorrow. So if you want to see what messages you have for the week ahead, please come and join us then. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching the replay. Please do like, subscribe, comment. I super appreciate it. And now we're going to get into our daily accountability. Thank you so much. Before we begin, don't forget you can join me live online inside virtual co-working space at www.virtualmissfriday.com forward slash VCS. If you enjoy this session, give it a like. I'd love to hear from you, so write me a comment. And so you don't miss any updates, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So now we're gonna look for the positive with our gratitude. First, we'll spend one minute thinking of the day before, thinking of all the things that happened, reflecting on work, interactions, relationships, memorable moments, and more. Now you'll write one thing down minimum that you're grateful for. You can, of course, write down more. Something good, something that went right. A small moment or a big win. The more you search for things to be grateful for, the more you will experience things to be grateful for. Now we're gonna read out your goal. Make sure your goal is written down in a journal or somewhere you can easily access it. 
Read your goal now, ideally out loud, and commit to this goal. Believe it will happen. And by reading this daily, the universe knows clearly what your goal is and the things begin to shift in the direction of your goal. Follow your instincts when this happens by taking action. Now you need to see your goal in visualization. Spend this minute thinking about the goal in your mind. See yourself taking steps towards the goal or even better still, see yourself having already achieved the goal. Close your eyes and go there. Step into the feeling, step into the place, step into the accomplishment. And finally, it's time for your most important task. Set this task for today and make it relating to your goal. This could be something small like sending an email, recording a video or making a phone call, or it could be bigger. Either way, one task a day is one step forward and those steps will add up. Do what you can from where you are now. Set the intention and the action will carry you towards your goal. Well done you for completing your daily co-create session. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you next time.